So my name is Barbara Beekman and I'm gonna make some cookies today. The first one is chocolate dipped oat cookies. It's an old recipe I've had for about 30 years. They're very simple. They happen to be gluten-free just because there's no flour in them. So we'll get started. You know, I, I like a lot of different cookie recipes. I would always try new things. My husband and my daughter do not feel it is Christmas if we don't have this. And initially when we were having trouble with the rolling, I wanted to not make it anymore because it was too much of a pain. But we, my daughter and I modified it to make it in the pan and uh, it's made a huge difference. So every Christmas, I, they start right after Thanksgiving saying, when are they, they call them dollops because they used to be a little round dollop and they start lobbying to have them. So we have had them every year. We cannot skip them. Mixed up. So just wrap it up, put it overnight. I made one yesterday. So, same thing, just does, doesn't look any different really. I line a pan, 8 by 8 pan, with foil. And you don't have any problems getting them out. Put it, put it evenly distributed in the pan. Press it down a little bit so it's nice and firm in there into the corners. Evenly as you can get it. And then it bakes at 350, I believe. Yes. So the, the oven's ready, 350, so they're in the pan. We're gonna bake them for 20 minutes. So now at this point, I'm turning the oven off. I'm gonna put the chocolate on. And so just scatter the chips even, you know, as evenly as you can. your knife and spread it out. So these are called, our cookies called speculas. They're a Dutch spice cookie. You may have seen or bought those windmill cookies in the store. That's sort of what speculas is. So it's a, it's a very spicy, kind of butter-based cookie. Thin and quite crispy, so. My husband is Dutch, so I started making these because I I like to connect with that heritage. And then it has um, that medley of spices. So it has cinnamon, ginger, mace, cardamom, cloves. That's it, we just put that in there. So I come from a long family. My mother, my grandmother, my aunts, all were cooks, bakers. And when I was about nine, my mother gave me and the two little girls that lived across the street from me, she bought us all a little kid's cookbook and we had cooking lessons. So what you want is a stiff dough. So, so we have some milk. You can add a little at a time. it in to see if you can get it into a dough. So we always baked. That was just always a thing. We, if something happened, you know, somebody dies, you bake something. If something good happens, you bake something. It's just a kind of tradition <laughs> and a fallback thing. Like it makes you feel productive to, to cook. And just roll. So 
This should be thin, a quarter of an inch or less, maybe even an eighth of an inch. Because again, it, it, a crispy cookie becomes just a hard cookie if it's too thick. I could do this all day to get it even, but. So that feels pretty good. When I was making um, cutout cookies with my kids, the frustration of the dough gets too soft, the cutout and can't get the cookie dough off the, the tray, it, it can be problematic is you can also freeze this flat and then do the cutouts. I don't, these don't spread, so I don't really worry too much about how far apart. So this is, see they're being very sticky. So this is where if the dough is frozen, you do not have this problem. I'm gonna go around and do all the easy ones first. And cutouts drives you absolutely crazy. Another thing you can do, which I do to a lot of cookies, is make them into a log and do slice and bake. So I'll cut a few just to cook with these. It goes a lot faster. And what you can do is freeze the dough, keep it in your freezer, and you can even cut it frozen. And so those are at 325 and they cook for 15 or 20 minutes. You want them to just be a little brown on the edges. So this is all just cookie recipes. Plus I have cookbooks that are just cookies. Plus I have a giant drawer full of recipes. This is my family's, they can't stand it. It's many, I can find things. I know people think you can't, I can find, I know what they look like, I know what, I have a great feel for that. I do not like recipes that need special techniques. I like straightforward process. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of patience for very particular techniques or things that take too many steps. I, it's not worth it to me. <laughs> there are many, many good cookies you can make that are not hard, as you can see. So stick with the easy but tasty ones.